Thanks for tuning in to Action Trailer Tutorials. I'm Shane Thompson, and today we're introducing our brand new Impact Quake Series Enclosed Cargoes. Now these trailers behind me pack a lot of punch, all at a price point that's economically suitable for most customers. Now behind me is a 6x12 and a 7x14. These particular models come in multiple different sizes, anywhere from a 5x8 all the way up to an 8.5x20. Today we're just going to go over the basically fundamentals of the trailer, the specs, let you know what's different about these particular trailers compared to other economically priced trailers out there in the market. Now you notice right behind here is a V-nose. The V-nose itself slants down, which is nice. So being a tapered V-nose, it's going to be better on fuel. And the nice things too is that V-nose adds on to the additional length. So being a 12 foot trailer, you're getting 12 feet square plus the nose in addition to it. You get a stone guard in the front, which is 16 inches high. A lot of trailers you end up seeing them at 12 inches high in these particular sizes. Stone guard as well too. It's all caulked and sealed around. Tongue jack, you automatically get a 3,000 pound support capacity tongue jack on all the models. Now if it's a tandem axle trailer, it will have all wheel electric brakes with a battery breakaway kit. If it's a single axle trailer, I'll have a 3,500 pound axle rated at 2990. Now, on the side of the trailer here, you're going to notice there's an RV flush lock. Now, that's not standard on pretty much most trailers. You always see a bar lock. And the nice thing about this flush lock is you have access to in and out of the trailer there. So, instead of having just the bar lock on the outside, you've now got a flush lock handle. So, from when you're inside the trailer, you can actually get out. And you also have a deadbolt in here too, which is really nice, just for better security. On the side of the door, since we upgraded this particular model, we upgraded to an actual aluminum hinge. Typically most trailers you'll end up seeing a strap hinge, which is zinc coated there on the side. This one is aluminum. Fenders, we got aluminum fenders, which are dime plate Jeep style fenders. Tires, we're running 15 inch radial tires. So a lot of trailers you'll see in the industry are, are bias ply still or 14 inch. These are 15 inch and we come with a powder coated rim. Typically you get the nice black powder coated rims, but we do have both the black or silver. And you notice here there's actually a chrome center cap too, which is really nice. Something that you don't typically see on most trailers in the market, so it gives it an extra little bit of splash there for it. Side panels, aluminum. See the screw spacing is 24 inch on center all the way around on these particular models. Lights are all LED. Being LED, they're brighter, more efficient. And the nice thing is too, you're getting every light being LED. So it's not just the clearance lights or tail lights, even the inside interior lights and LED. Best part about this model, that's my favorite option, is you can either get a ramp or barn doors at the same price. Typically in the trail industry, you're always going to have to pay extra for a ramp door, not with the Quake series here. So models that we stock, we pretty much always stock the ramp door option on, but you have the option of either barns or ramp. And the nice thing too is you're getting an additional flap here too at the very bottom. So you get that additional transition piece just to make it easier for going in and out of the trail. Inside height on these units is six foot one. Also another feature that I really like on these are a one piece roof. So one piece roof, just seamless. So again, help prevent leaks from ever happening. Uh, and again, it's stronger having a one piece compared to a three piece galvalum, which you typically see in this style trailer here. Walls are 7 16 OSB wall board. So 7 16 thicker than the standard traditional 3 8 And we also put a trim package on all these trailers. So a trim package, which you're gonna get, is you're gonna get additional trim on the sides, which is a nice heavy duty trim, and the dime plated corners in the front too. So dresses up a little bit, but as well too, just Again, it's making it a little bit stronger there for this particular model. You can get different heights in this series, so you don't have to go with the standard six foot one. If you're taller like me and you need something you're walking in and out of every day, you're going six inch increments. Uh, windows, that sort of thing. So it pretty much it depends on what you want to do and what you want to get out of the trailer. But the main thing is, obviously, you want a trailer for most people that's economic in price, uh, as well too, that's something that it's going to last you longer than what traditional trailers will. Um, and what I mean by traditional is, you get a lot of trailers with incandescent lights on them. You get them with the standard side doors, the bar locks, lower stone guards. A lot of trailers you'll see with a flat nose compared to the V nose as well. Um, other neat features on these particular trailers too is that the floor I'm standing on. It's an engineered wood, so it's moisture resistant. So it's guaranteed not to swell or warp. So um, warranty on this particular model, three are structural, and you're also gonna get a six year on the axles. So a lot better off than just the standard one year warranty that you'll typically see on uh, trailers in this price point range. And as well too, ramp door is again, no extra charge. So 
keep in mind all the additional features that you're going to get with these models. Um, again, you got to do your homework. We understand there's lots of trailers out there to choose from. You can go on our website on www.actiontrailers.ca to find more specs and information on all the trailers that we sell here too, or better yet, stop by a yard. But hopefully uh, today's tutorial gave you a little bit better education on what you get with an uh, entry level trailer that's actually a step above what most other entry level trailers are in the industry there for that. And just to recap again, one piece roof, LED lights all the way around, flush lock upgraded door with that aluminum hinge on the side, radial tires with upgraded chrome center caps, and as well too the ramp door at no additional charge. Thanks for tuning in today's tutorial, I'm Shane Thompson, see you by the dealership.